Hey guys, this is a video about software that deals with your desktop wallpaper for your backgrounds and stuff like that. And if you're like me, uh, you tend to find wallpapers to be really cool and makes your computer really personal and the way you like it. It makes it just customizes for your for you and for your own liking. But for me, like every amount of days, like a week or something, I find my wallpaper to be boring and there's nothing cool about it. Then I just throw it away and go back on the internet and find a new one. So. So you find a new one, you put it on your desktop, and you find it to be boring every amount, of, like a week later or something, you find it boring, you throw it away, and you find a new one on the internet again. So this program helps you with that. So what you do, you create a folder or something, and you just save it as like my cool wallpapers. Then you go to uh, Firefox or just on the internet, and go to, I don't know, Photo Bucket or Google Images or Interface Lift, and find all these cool pictures and save it to that folder. Then what you do, you use this folder in Wallpaper Master, which is a free program, and I'll provide the link for you guys to download. And it's a pretty cool program. What it does, it basically uh, randomizes the wallpaper that you have in the folder to upload itself on your desktop every amount of minutes you choose. So once you open it, it will go down to your task taskbar, and you just right-click Wallpaper Master, and uh, you can choose your pictures right here. On, and uh, the rating of it, I'll, I'll talk about that later. And it can change it to all the pictures to every 60 minutes, every 10 seconds, whatever you want. And uh, it will look cool. So what you do is uh, you just add files right here. And I'm just going to select a few pictures I found off the internet. They look cool to me. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys how it works. So as you see, all the pictures are right here on this side. And right here is the categories. What you do in the categories is that uh, you can change whatever, like, let's say, for an example, let's say let's have a category of your mood. Like, let's say you have a really bad week at work or something, and you're really angry, so pissed off. So I could just write that, and for this, see, as you can see, when I press pissed off over here, it's empty. So you can customize the pictures yourself. Just write, like, you can just put, upload really angry pictures of fire and death and demons, or whatever weird, whatever, whatever you, you know, floats your boat. It's right here, and it can randomize itself every 60 minutes to change up here. But I'm just going to go to main over here. This is just the default category that comes with it, and all these pictures I put up, as you can see, are, you know, here. So I'm going to make this a little simple. Uh, actually, let me uh, talk about this a little right now, so I'll explain this later because it's going to go, like, really, really fast. So position. You can uh, make the position of your picture, or all the pictures, hold on, let me select them all, to uh, center, tile, resize, tile, or whatever. I'm just going to leave it at center. Then color, for your background color, let's say like some of the pictures are a little small, and the background color is going to change. So I'm just going to, I don't really care about that. Monitor, if you have multiple monitors. Order, it's going to be a random order, or you can use the ratings. You can rate the picture. Let's say... I'm going to rate them all 5 or something. So, or I'm just going to rate a simple one 5, a single one 5. So this picture right here is rated 5 to be the best picture. So, since it's going to choose in random order, it's going to choose this picture the most because it's the highest rating because it thinks since you like this picture a lot, it's going to be on your desktop most or more often. And uh then other pictures. So, I'm just going to go back to 3, then uh I'm going to show you what it does. So, I'm going to make it change every uh, 0 0.01 minutes and apply. So I just don't forget to press apply. I always do this. I always forget. And there's a whole bunch of different there's a whole bunch of different options. You can start up auto close. I see uh well, I just interrupted myself. It's it just changed the desktop after 0 0.01 minutes. So it looks pretty cool, but okay, right here. It's always refresh the desktop, blah blah blah. This is really important, but the basic stuff is just right here. This is it. It can set the revolutions, remove files, clear the entire lists of. Uh, hold on, it's a little, it's, it's refreshing itself right now, and just a whole bunch of stuff. It clear the list, add new files, a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, here it is. It's a, uh, it's changing its stuff as you can see, and it looks really cool. So, you can set this up in uh, any time. Basically, you can set it up. I forgot to tell you, you can set it change on startup. So every time it boots up, it will change. So I don't really care about that, but. 
Uh, so you can set up to like 30 minutes, two hours, whatever, a week probably if you can convert that to minutes. I'm not really sure I can uh, do weeks, but yeah. So it changes every point zero one minutes. So if if you like that, that's cool. So I'll send you guys the link so you guys can check it out. If you're a really big wallpaper freak, well, I'm really not, but so yeah, this is it. It looks cool now. So uh, this is it. So the entire video is done, and I hope you guys liked it. If you need help in anything, just comment me or message me, and uh, I hope you like the video. All right, later.